All right, here is the Yom Yom for today. And we'll do it for tomorrow also. The true way to know who you are. How do you find out who you are? Who is your character? <clears throat> you have to recognize your own shortcomings, your deficiencies, and you have to know what are your good qualities. Don't lie to yourself. One, one of my, my beloved teachers told me, Rabbi Abba Pliskin, he said, a chassid is a person, a chassid is a person that doesn't fool Men you. Menachem is in the waiting room, he said. Oh, yeah, really? One second, one minute, could be. One minute. No, I don't see it. Okay, one second. One minute. Participants. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. <clears throat> Just it didn't show up. Okay. All right. <clears throat> a person has to know his own deficiencies and his own good qualities. And one way you can do this is by, first of all, looking at yourself. First of all, praying to God. And here's a general principle in everything you do in Judaism. The first thing you do, whenever you do anything, is pray to God. And it doesn't have to be a long prayer for three seconds, right? Please, God, help me find my good qualities and my bad qualities. And then when you do find it, you have to thank God. Thank God for what you did, for what it is. Sometimes you think, okay, you know, you know the joke. Everybody knows the joke. The person prays. He's in a parking lot, and he's in, he has to make an important meeting, and the parking lot is just full. And he says, God, please give me a parking place. If you do, I'll give $10,000. As soon as he finishes saying it, somebody all of a sudden runs to their car, gets in, and pulls out. And he says, God, you can forget about it. I, I did it myself. You don't, you, you don't, I don't need your help. So a lot of times when things happen, we don't give the proper credit to God. But it's the same thing. We have to ask God to reveal our good qualities and to we know what our bad qualities. And when you do know what your bad qualities are, let's you have a bad temper, or maybe you, you get depressed, maybe you're lazy, then you should try to correct them with actual service. And not satisfy yourself with bemoaning them. Oh, yeah, I'm so stupid. I'm so lazy. I'm so terrible. And they say, ah, it's, I feel good now. You have to work. And a lot of times it's not so easy to do. You have to <clears throat> jump out of yourself. You have to be a, be a different person and not pay so much attention to yourself and to what people think, what people say, and to what your doubts about the future. Fix yourself up. That's the service of knowing who you really are. And the goal, of course, is to serve the creator of the universe. So am I doing it? Am I a positive person? Am I a happy person? <clears throat> am I a brave person? These are good qualities that everyone should have. And if you don't, so work on yourself. And how do you begin to work on yourself? Pray. First thing is pray to God. God, help me, please, to fix myself up. Help me to find my faults. Help me to see my good things. And also don't lie to yourself about your good qualities. You could have good qualities, but you have to use them also. All right. Now, story. One second. One minute. How's your name? One minute. Yeah. Tomorrow's Yum Yum? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you are. That's right. You are right. You are right. One second. You are right. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Rabbi, do you know who Maishi is? There's somebody Maishi here. I don't know, but but somebody has their thing. Let me let me just one second. Uh, Abba. Yeah, somebody has their... Uh, I can hear everything going on in your background. Yeah, he turned it off. He turned it off. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. This is tomorrow's Yom Yom. Huh? Rabbi Isaac of Hummel, he said, when I came to Li'azna, that was the first Rebbe of Chabad, I met elder Hasidim who had been the pupils, the Hasidim of the Magid. The Magid, that was the, the teacher of the altar Rebbe and of Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Hordak. is also Menachem Mendel of Vitebsk, who was bur buried, by the way, in uh, uh, Tiberia. Here he's buried. So he said, I met Hasidim who had been the Hasidim of the Magid, Magid of Mezrich, and of Machen Mendel of Vitebsk. They used to say like this. Their sayings was like this. They had a special saying that they say. Very beautiful saying. What's this over here? I get this all the time. There we go. Okay. They're saying, if you have affection for another Jew, 
God will have affection for you. If you love another Jew, God will love you. If you do a favor for a fellow Jew, then God will do a favor for you. If you are a friend of a fellow Jew, then God will befriend you. And one of the, what's the difference between being a friend and being a friend is much more intimate, more personal, but also if something good happens to your friend, you're very happy, very happy. And if something not good happens, God forbid, so you're very pained and you do everything you can in order to help that person. That means a friend. Okay, now story. One minute. Story 